It's tough to tell from this scene, but 40-year-old Joanne Wilson, mother of three, is one of New York City's hottest high-tech dynamos. Come on, pal. Every day, after she takes the kids to school on the E-train, she switches hats, hails a cab, Hi. and goes to war, fighting for her other kids. Wilson is the chairman of Mouse, short for Making Opportunities for Upgrading Schools and Education. We got $100,000 on Friday from the City Council, confirmed. When do we get the check? Tiny nonprofit Mouse is helping to hook up the city's 1.1 million students with powerful high tech resources. As chairman, Wilson uses her extensive contacts in New York's Silicon Alley, where she sits on several corporate boards and where her husband is a venture capitalist. I was actually in Silicon Alley from the very beginning. A lot of the people in the alley who now are running these multi million dollar companies, I knew them when there were three people in their office. Since 1999, Wilson has helped bring Mouse over a hundred corporate partners like Verizon and Citigroup, as well as high-tech firms. These are here. She's raised cash for Mouse's two million dollar a year budget and coaxed many of her colleagues into volunteering for hands-on training as well. From the very beginning, they had us signing up as volunteers and we were literally getting on our hands and knees and wiring schools and teaching workshops and, and working with the students and working with the teachers. I think what I'm really doing is I'm giving them a soul. They all think about the bottom line and making money and, and their stocks and their companies and it's very stressful and I'm trying to make them all think about something else which is giving back, making an impact in someone's life. I think the bubbles are good. Wait, pick the dark bubbles. Let's be honest. In this mouse program called Young Women's Tech, the pros show teenagers how to build an online magazine. We came up with the name Issues with Issues. It's like a teen's everyday basic life. Basically, because we're not into all that superficial. You come up in here, acting superficial, you get put out. The program essentially trains high school girls to build an online magazine, but the real value of the program is, is expression. Young women want to express themselves through technology. They don't want to learn technology for technology's sake, but it's a tool. Today, Mouse co-founder Sarah Holloway and Wilson see Mouse as an incubator for programs that can be rolled out nationally, like the Mouse Squad, which trains kids to maintain computers in their own schools. Students earn money and get job skills. They don't have to wait what might be several days uh, for someone on a contract to come out and do the repairs. It's enormously rewarding to the kids involved. We can take a program like that and we can create a business plan around it and we can turn around to a nonprofit or a business and say, here's what you need to do with this program. Why don't you guys take the program and run it into 400 schools across the country? Because of our access to 1.1 million children, we can actually learn what works and what doesn't. Wilson's business sense has won her support even in a less than robust high-tech economy. In fact, Mouse has secured paid summer internships for high school kids in the program. Brilliant. But every time you speak to someone, if you look them right in the eyes and you talk I think that what I'll get from it is a lot of um, work experience, like a taste of what it feels like to actually work in the real world. It really opened me out. They said you have to speak more to people, you know. The Mouse program really brought me out. It basically just guided me, giving me a helping hand from just being a normal teenager to being a part of the working force of America. And that's just insane. It's a huge step from my life. The driving force for Wilson is to give inner city students the same access to technology that her own children have. And there's a lesson for her own kids as well. I take my kids to these programs. And I think it's really important for my children who don't, are coming from a life of privilege to understand with that comes a responsibility to give back to the community. All right, let's go. For Business Unusual, I'm Valerie Morris, CNN Financial News. Thank you.